Hello everybody, this is Trading Gamer back for more tournament videos and we are kicking off round two of Group C matches. In these matches we will see Torvasaurus going up against Team South America, Star Pumpkin going up against Pilk and Mr. Backpack going up against the Skrill. Ooh, some important matches here. And yeah, let's go on with the first one, which we'll see Torvasaurus against Team South America. Alrighty then, up first for Torvasaurus in the red corner, we have an Isosaurus. Uh, not much to say here, I mean, I'm completely unconvinced by Aqua Javelin and Ocean Panic, cause, because these two moves are basically technique based, and well, Isosaurus has a grand total of 50 technique, which is rubbish. Anyway, in the blue corner, we have a dinosaur with actual technique, the Alpha Irritator. And um, we didn't see too much of it in the last match, in its first matchup, but maybe we'll see more of it this time. And um, well, I expect um, Tor I was going to say Diamond, but Torvasaurus to win, but I think it could be a tough one because Team South America is one of those banana skin teams where you hope, expect to win, but don't. Like this. Tragic sphere from the back from Irritator. A strong start for Team South America. But not too much damage done to Isosaurus because it is super defense type, so it's super resilient. Ooh, but the Isosaurus does strike back with a crest, and it is a water sword. Lots of damage done. Oh, well, Alpha Irritator lasted two seconds. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, up next to Team South America, we have Saltosaurus. Do not underestimate the power of this beast. Because that Hydro Cutter is absolutely deadly. Like, dare I say it, if Isosaurus gets hit with this thing, it will die. I think it will actually die. With the health it's got, I think it will die. Even though Isosaurus is super defensive. That is how much power this Hydro Cutter will have, if it gets it off. Ooh, but Hydro Cutter is going to get triggered. And well, Team South America desperately need this. Come on, let's try just give him a Hydro Cutter. Okay, that's six. Come on, give us Brock. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, you ain't going to get Hydro Cutter off this time. But the Saltosaurus is going to strike back. Top Saltosaurus, do something! Oh my god, he killed him! I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't see that come in! And once again, we don't get to see Hydro Cutter! Anyway, up next for Team South America's third dino, we have the Carnotaurus. Um, again, not much to say here, but that ninja attack could do a lot of damage, and this Carnotaurus is attack type. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but because Team South America is in big trouble here, and it's Isosaurus before he get off a crit here. So it looks very good for Torvasaurus, and it looks like it could be a bonus point win on the horizon. Well, the Isosaurus finally goes down. Anyway, up next for Super, for, for super Torvasaurus. Torvasaurus, we have Super Shantungasaurus. Okay, Awaken Mode on two. Although, this thing will be at a disadvantage against the Kana, so that could be crucial for Team South America. But on, honestly, I don't... Honestly, like... Torvasaurus is third dino, is a fire dinosaur, so I don't think it really matters in the end. And this Carno will probably take a lot of damage. So I feel like this Torvo is to lose. Although, the Carno does get off a bite in win. Okay, once. Oop, that's a tie. Ooh, the two platoon crush getting triggered. Oh, but the ninja attack is going to kill the shant, and all of a sudden. How many times have I said that this tournament? 
When a team's completely on top, the other team kills the two dinos and then, and then all of a sudden... Torvosaurus down to his last dinosaur. That dino being the Kakarodontosaurus. Hmm. Although, it does have the advantage, it will have the advantage over Carnotaurus, so I still think Torvosaurus is on top here, but Team South America making it interesting. And denying Torvosaurus that possible bonus point win. Oh, <laughs> bit of dramatic there, but the Carcharodontosaurus gets off the first hit. Not too much damage done though. And the Carcharodontosaurus getting off another hit. And that hit will also guarantee Torvosaurus points this match. Ooh, the burning dash has been triggered. But the Carnotaurus getting off a Lillian Cure and a hit. But the Magma Blaster has been triggered. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it for Carnotaurus. Yep, that's curtains for Carnotaurus. And Torvosaurus takes the win. Um, well, it got a bit sticky at the end there, but Torvosaurus did pull through. But I'm still bummed out that we didn't get to see Hydro Cutter. If we don't see it this tournament, I'll just pop a clip at the end of like Team South America's last match of Hydro Cutter and what it can do. Right, I'll update the table and we'll move on to our next match. Alrighty then, and in this matchup, we see Star Pumpkin going up against Pill. And at first for Star Pumpkin, we have Spinosaurus. Um, seems to be a popular dinosaur for people who use in this tournament. Um, uh, not much to say about its moveset. I mean, it did pretty well last time. Anyway, in the blue corner for Pilk, we have a Baryonyx. Uh, we definitely saw how impressive this guy was. Um, the interesting thing about Barry is because his moves are so balanced, you could probably put like a Hydro Cut it here and it would do more damage than a crit. Interesting, isn't it? Isn't it? Anyway, let's get on with the match. Ugh, I, I don't like this arena. This I find this arena more glitchy than the others. Ooh, we start with a tie. I think that will suit the Spino more since he seems to take less damage. Ooh, but the Baryonyx opens up with a crit. An Aqua Wet, a standard move for Baryonyx. Lots of damage dealt, and I think that's a shockwave. Which means... The Spinosaurus will not be getting it. Well, it might get land damage with a tie, but it won't get a hit. hit. Um, I actually kind of want to talk about Shockwave real quick. I, I might change how Shockwave works, because in some matches it seems to be very powerful. And it seems to completely swing the match in, in favour of the person who uses it. I mean... I wanted Shockwave to give the person who used it an advantage, but I didn't want it to be too big. But it's, it feels a little bit too powerful, especially on dinosaurs like Apista Sea Claudia, which, who have very high technique and seem to get Shockwave off every time. Anyway, back to said match. The Baryonyx defeating the Spinosaurus, but it did take a beat. But I think Pilk does have a good lead now because up next for Star Pumpkin, we have Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, which will be at a type disadvantage against the Bow. Um, yeah, I think I think I might change Shockwave going into the oh going into the knockout rounds. I might change how it works. I mean, for those of you that don't know how Shockwave works, when the opponent when this guy gets up Shockwave, this guy's move will be. Like, well, you saw you saw what I did when the Spino lost his paper move. I went, the Barry went rock. And then I randomly generate what move the Spino will do. Which pretty much guarantees that the person using Shockwave can't lose that round. Anyway, another Aqua Whip coming from Baryonyx. Ooh, is Star Pumpkin in trouble here as Pilk 
seems to be in a decent position. Oh dear. And all of a sudden... <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, I promise I'll stop saying all of a sudden. Pilk storms into a 2-0 lead over Star Pumpkin. But Star Pumpkin's third dino is the best dino in the game, the Mega Raptor. Well, it, it was kind of victimized when I used it, but when um, Arctic Warriors used it, it was quite impressive. But, and when Star Pumpkin used it, it was pretty decent. Okay, but can it can it turn this match around for Star Pumpkin? Go on, Mega Raptor, you can do this. I forgot this. Stop getting Aqua Whips off. It's cheap. Go on, Barry. Stop getting Aqua Whips off. It's so cheap. Okay, but no Shockwave, though. Okay, he's not getting Aqua Whip off this time. <laughs> he goes for it anyway. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, the Baryonyx is finally dead. A hurricane beat coming from the Mega Raptor. So there'll be no two point bonus two bonus point win for Spelk. I mean I didn't think he was gonna do it anyway, the Barry on such low health. I mean if his health was like up by here, then I'd probably say he could do it. For this anyway, up next for Pelk, we have a Megalosaurus. Well we definitely saw how powerful this beast can be. But not much to say here, just all secret moves. Although, I will say that Megalosaurus, I think, does have the highest crit damage out of all the secret dinosaurs. Although, they all seem very balanced, unlike certain dinosaurs. I actually, for the longest time, thought it was Deinonychus, but I think that's only because Deinonychus is attack type. Well, there is an attack type variant. Ooh, a Mayfly! Could that make things interesting? Because this Mega Raptor does deal an ass ton of damage. Respectable damage there from Mega Raptor. Showing the world what it can do. Ooh. No bonus point win for Pilk. And the Mega Raptor is turning things around for Star Pumpkin. Anyway, as for Pilk's last dinosaur, we have a Kralophosaurus. Again, not much to say here, because since it all has all secret moves, but yeah, you can, you can see how balanced its damage is for all its moves. I mean, this orange bar here signifies how strong its move, that respective move is. For those of you that don't know, I thought I should just point that out. And as you saw with the cryo, it was very balanced. I can't, I thought, oh my god, we got several aqua whips, now it's going to be several mayflies. Ooh, a crap. I think this is Curtains for Mega Raptor. Oh, almost. Almost Curtains for Mega Raptor. But what that does guarantee is that Pilk will get points no matter what. Well, Pilk is going to get three points. Star Pumpkin did put up a bit of a fight back in the end, but Pilk proving too strong. And does indeed take the points. Uh, what I was going to say there before that is that Pilk would have been guaranteed points no matter what, because if he had lost, he would have got a losing bonus point, since Mega Raptor's health is below half. Anyway, time to update the table, and we'll move on to our final match of this video. Alrighty then, and in the red corner for Mr. Backpack, we have a Daspedosaurus. And this Daspedosaurus didn't do, did okay. Again, not sure what Technique Boost is going to do, but we'll just have to see. Anyway, in the blue corner for, for, Mist, for the Skrill, we have a Mapusaurus. And, interestingly enough, this Mapusaurus has almost the same moveset as the one that I used for my Fire Tournament. Only difference is the paper. And well, we all, see, we all know what Mapusaurus can do and how strong it can be. But, can it get the Skrill over the line? Uh, I, I feel like this could be an important matchup because both of these two lost their opening matches. And I'm sure that the, lo the loser here could, could lose a bit of ground on the top four. And, at this early stage, I, it's not really a place you want to be. You don't really want to make up ground for the final three matches. 
Anyway, back to the match. The Mapusaurus opening up with a hit and a technique boost to boot. Gaining 400 extra technique. I mean, I'm assuming it gains that much. But no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I lost my train of thought then. Anyway, a fire cannon coming from Daspedosaurus. <laughs> and technique boost as well, but it doesn't really do anything. I mean, it does. It works on the Mapusaurus because it has heat eruption, which is basically which is a technique based move. Oh, there's a tie. Um, I see the Daspedosaurus has a slight lead. I mean, it's not a big lead, but it's a slight lead. But the Mapusaurus might have just turned the screw and get in the hit of Daspedosaurus. More technique boost there. Uh, quite an even match so far. But could the Mapu has the Mapusaurus just changed that as Daspedosaurus goes down? Up next for Mr. Backpack, we have a Nodosaurus. I'm not much to say here, I mean, Earth Barrier is always useful and, well, Elemental Power might come in handy, but I don't really know... don't really know what it really does, I mean... I think it increases your type advantage and it decreases your type disadvantage, I think that's it. Anyway, Mr. Backpack has some ground to make up here, and I think he will be making it up, as the Nonosaurus starts off strong with a crit. But the Mapusaurus is still standing. Ooh, that's a tie. Okay, that's curtains for Mapusaurus, and Nodosaurus helps Mr. Backpack to even the score. Ah, that's what it does. I think elemental power increases your damage, your super move damage, but it decreases the damage you take from super moves. I think that's what it does. I mean, it's only a subtle change, but it is a change. Anyway, as for, as for the Skrill's next dino, we have a Pianitsky Saurus. A very good group set, in my opinion. Very strong, very... Very good for the dino that Pianitsky Saurus is. You've got the oomph of Hurricane Beat, you've got the resilience of recovery, and you've got the technical ability of Jet Shuriken. But will that be enough to beat Nodosaurus? And Pianinsky Saurus is a poison type. Oh my god, there's a pitiful amount of damage. Okay, yeah, I think that's what elemental power does. Definite difference. Oop, oop, what's this? Oh, sand trap. A sand trap coming from Nodosaurus. Now oh, look at his feet then. He's like, <laughs> it's like a dog digging in the beach. Um, I forgot what that does. I th I'm assuming it lowers something by 200. Oh, that's right. It lowers your it lowers your defense in a tie by 200. Ooh, wow, Nodosaurus in pretty good condition with it. Pianitsky Saurus hardly laying a glove. Although Pianitsky Saurus's power is all in the crit, so I will I should say that. Yeah, definite, definite difference in elemental power there. You saw the... You saw the difference the paper move did in comparison to the rock. Anyway, a Jack Shuriken coming from Pianitsky Saurus. And the Nodosaurus, despite putting up a decent fight, is not looking good. Oh, will this end it? No, it shouldn't. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Sand Trap lowers, lowers your defense in a tie, so you take more damage. Ooh, the Nodosaurus though, not going down yet. Getting off a hit on Pianitsky Saurus and... Wow, look at that! <laughs> Even Stevens here. Yeah, that's... Wow, Elemental Power is pretty good. Hmm. I think I, should... I might use it going forward. Oh my god, of course it's a tie. <laughs> uh, well, because the game's programmed that way, the Pianitsky Saurus will die and the Nodosaurus will not. Okay, so since the Nodosaurus would have died in the tie, we'll give we'll just give this Eoraptor a free hit. 
like we did before. Ooh, a Stegosaurus from the Eoraptor. Oh yeah, I should mention, this is um, the Skrill's last dino. Okay, what moves have we got? Okay, so Earthquake and Mole Attack. Topple that with a Dino Stuffer. Okay, yeah, so Mr. Backpack has super power, so here's super powers. Okay, we can move on two. Uh, what should I give it? I'll just give it a rock. I mean, it doesn't matter, nothing's gonna activate. Yeah, that, that's only fair. It's only fair that I just... Wait, what was that one? Oh, Earth Barrier, but Earth Barrier wasn't gonna save it. Anyway, as for Mr. Backpack's third dino, we have Super Powers. Yeah, the reason I let your Raptor get hit, well, you know why. Because the Nodosaurus was, was going to die in the tie, but because of the game's programming, it gets to come back. But we are still even Stevens, and both competitors are down to their last dinosaur. Are we going to see another tie? Um, I doubt it. Ooh, the Eoraptor getting off a crit. Emerald Garden getting triggered. I got once. Okay, next round though, it will be a week. Awakening time for Power of Palace. Ooh, a crit, but the Dino Stuffer is going to put a stop to that nonsense. So no Emerald Garden for Paris. But it is Awakening time. This could be the turning point of the match. Oh, the Eoraptor! Well, the Stegosaurus getting off a hit, denying that Awaken mode. I mean, it won't do damage, much damage to Paris, but it is going to stop her from getting off big damage from the Awaken mode. And her health will be cut in half. But on the bright side, Emerald Garden has been triggered. But I think that the Stegosaurus is going to defeat Paris. And that will give a win to the Skrill. Yep. Well, it was such an even match. Until the Eoraptor came in and finished off Paris. So that is a defeat for Mr. Backpack and a victory for the Skrill. And how crucial could that be? Right, we'll update the table and end the session. Um, not much to say here, we got these two seem to be running away with it, Torvasaurus and Pilk up top, and then we have Star Pumpkin and the Skrill on three points, and then we have the bottom two with Mr. Backpack on one, and Team South America with Zip. Uh, still quite an open group, I mean, looking at this losing bonus point, how crucial could that be for Mr. Backpack? Let's have a look at the next matchups for round three. So four versus five, that will be, ooh, Team South America going up against Star Pumpkin. Torvasaurus against Mr. Backpack. And Pilk going up against the Skrill. So this could be an interesting one. So we could see a very close group C, or we could just see these two running away with it. Uh, when did these two play each other, actually? Ooh, round four, we'll see Pilk going up against Torvasaurus. So four versus five, so that'd be these two. Could be a good match for Star Pumpkin and Team Sa Could be an important one to close the gap on these two. Uh, six versus one, Torvo against Mr. Backpack. Well, gotta be a must win for Mr. Backpack here. Otherwise, Torvosaurus will run away with it. And then two versus three, Pilk against the Skrill again. Could be an important match. I think round three could be a big round into deciding who stays and who goes. But I feel like one more win from these two and these two will go through. So I think these two will go through. And then I think, well, it's up for grabs between these four. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this session. And this is Strange Gamer, signing out.